Hey guys, what is up? Wait here from Novi TV. Welcome to the last episode of Camera Premiere. I'm sorry for the late update. I ate up, 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 upload. I have two things to tell you. The first thing I have to. My god. The first thing I have to tell you is I'm sorry for the late upload. I went and saw Good Mythical Morning live yesterday. I didn't have enough time to edit it. But it is coming out on Friday still. Sorry. 8 p.m. it should be out. I'm editing it right now. As you can see, it's open. I'm doing the final watch through. The other thing I have to say is um, thank you to everybody who helped create Kevin Premier Season 2. Um, from the little things to the big things, it was such a long journey. And also, stick around to the very end of this episode, after the credits, because there's an after credit scene with a sneak peek of Season 3. So from all of us here at WBTV, Thank you for watching Kevin Premier. Leave a comment down below about what you want to see for Season 3. Also, if you're a mythical beast, leave a comment down below. And enjoy the last episode of Kevin Premier, Election Night. This is the last time we'll be here to open up an episode, Derek. <sighs> Why do you have to break the fourth wall to make a joke? I'm not. I'm just going to take a sip of my beautiful Oasis orange juice. If you're thirsty, go down to your local convenience store and buy Oasis orange juice. It will quench your thirst. Now you're doing a shameless plug? Just oh. stop. Okay, fine, I will. Good. Roll the intro! <laughs> As we enter the last few weeks of this insane election, we have to ask the question, who is going to win? If we look at the polls, Bicycle Phil still has the upper hand on Kevin Phillips, but only by 1.5%, and the Vernum Supreme is trailing behind by 5%, and the joke candidate Michael Anderson still doesn't have 1% of the vote. The question is, which candidate will win? Stay tuned on our election coverage stats at 6, and we'll see you then. You've dropped so much. It's not that bad. I mean, I was just riding my bike, go out there, and charm them. Well, I mean, you better start soon because you only have until 6. What? I thought you couldn't campaign at all on election day. Well, technically you can't, but since there isn't a mayor, you, you kind of can. What? I thought you were the intern mayor. Well, I was until about a week ago and my contract expired. Why wouldn't you just renew your own contract? Well... I didn't know if people were going to like me enough. Oh my god, you're so dumb. Okay, no I'm not. If you don't remember, I am first place for finance minister. Unopposed. You can say that all you want. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to go ride my bike. There's a lot less crazy people out there. Whatever. Maybe we should get to work. And by work, I mean wave at cars. Yeah, well we kind of picked the most busiest street in the town. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We're falling behind. Yeah, we're, we're falling behind. Yeah, we need to see if we can beat Kevin and Phil if we work hard enough this week. Yeah, well, Kevin and Derek are pretty nice. Yeah, maybe we could team up with them. Yeah, well, we just need to work as hard as, as we can. And if we can't win, then we'll just team up with Kevin to beat Phil. Okay, now let's go and pick a different street. This is ridiculous. They just called me joke candidate? That's it. I'm calling the jail. Hello? They're calling me joke candidate. They think I'm dumb and silly. We need to get that on offense and make sure that we can gain back our voters. Don't question me. I had them in heart. Like Kevin? Phil, are 
Are you kidding me? Okay, great. I'm on my way. Okay, great. Will do. Hello, how are you? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I kind of thought that you would recognize me. Of course I would. You're the only joke candidate in the election. I'm not a joke candidate! Okay, fine. Why are you here? I have a proposition to you. Okay, what do you want? Can I see Vernon? Okay. Vernon, Michael wants to talk to you about the campaign. What the f- No, no, never, never, never. <laughs> well, there's your answer then. You're a shit, you know that? Do you like any adult swear words? I've got lots. Nobody knows who's gonna win until election night. Nothing is definite until election night. However, I have a good chance at winning, and that's really all I care about. Um, I've tried to move this town forward the best way I can, and I've tried to do the best that I can, and that's all I care about. For those of you who voted Kevin Phillips, you wanted a change that people believed in, and that's what I believed in too. So thank you to everybody who helped support Kevin Phillips' this election. And if you excuse me, I got some preparing to do. Oh, I will be mayor this time. People love me. I don't know why they love me, but they do. Oh, I didn't even grow up in Springfield, but I will win this new election, no matter what. Vote for me, Bicycle Phil. Before we start, tonight everybody must refer to me as King George, and my campaign manager Dan as Asswipe. It's hard to accept defeat, which our campaign will most likely have to do tonight. It's very sad. However, we push this town forward into a place that I was really excited for it to go. And whoever wins, I hope I can help them in the future. We will lead this town into the black, no matter who is the mayor. And we will never forget what Jeremy Reinhold and Alan Duffy did to this town. Thank you. Okay, are they finished yet? No, they're just counting the votes right now. Oh my god, the suspense is killing me, man. Hey, what's up? Hey! Okay. They're supposed to be done at 7. Oh! Guys, guess what? You're not the deputy mayor anymore? Yeah! Isn't it great? I'm the town's new finance minister. Well, that's an idiot move. Who the hell would do that? What are you talking about? Kevin, you should know for how long you've been in the town that the people love me and the people will surely forgive me. Stop, stop, stop. Stop doing whatever you're doing to try to boost your game. I can't believe out of an impulse that we did this thing and we almost won. Well, it was a great run. But at least you still have the job of the town after this. Yeah, but you just lost your job at Springfield Diner. What are you gonna do? Well, I still have my severance, but that's not gonna get me very far. Yeah. Is the diner still for sale? Yeah. Well, I've always wanted to own my own business. But you own the extermination company. Yeah, but extermination's old. I want to get out of that business anyways. That's why I ran for mayor. Maybe I should open my own diner with Newfoundland fish. Are you kidding? No. And maybe you could be my partner. Oh, I would love to. Thanks. Looks like those two assholes, Alan and Phil, are still winning. You know, I've never met Phil, but the time I did meet Kevin, he was friends with that. Well, we could, well, if you were here, we could tell those assholes how much of a jerk they were to us. Since I'm not there, attack him when he's on stage. That sounds like a great plan. They have it live at the jail, so make sure you do it when I can watch it. Yeah, I'll make sure to do that. I'll make sure you, to do that so you can see. Okay, everyone, let's go. I would like all the candidates to go on the stage, please. Wait, they're calling me. Kevin and Phil, we have a late announcement. Please come onto the stage. Are we live? Hello, everyone. Tonight is a very special night. Tonight is the night where we finally announce the mayor of this great town of Springfield. Leading ahead of everyone is Kevin Phillips and Bicycle Phil. Everyone else here on stage, we have Veron and Joe candidate Michael. Everyone.
Today is a day of prosperity for the, our town. We have been through so much since the loss of our old mayor. I am done with this bullshit! Excuse me, Michael. Please calm down. I will get to you in a second. This is bullshit! I'm so done with this! I'm not a joke kid! Calm in down, it. Michael! Asshole! Who else wants to face me? But just go home. You don't even stand a chance. No one likes you. You're not even close to winning. My body hurts. This town is a shame full of idiots. I've had enough. Oh my god. Thanks, Alan. You won't be seeing the last of me. I have friends in jail. I can see him. He'll have a great time. Now that we have that taken care of, we have some very large news. The election is very close tied between Kevin and Phil, close to the point of 100 votes. We are counting and looking over to make sure that we are correct. So if you'll just wait patiently, that would be great. This is ridiculous. How could they make us wait this long? Jeez, it's hard. I mean, I do agree, but if it takes them longer to make the counts right, I'm fine with that. I do agree. <sighs> it's been a crazy night, man. Here you go. Do you think the people who have lost should already make their concession speeches? Yeah, I guess that's right. What about you, Alan? How do you think? Yeah, it seems okay. But who's going to make the announcement? I'll do it. Hello everybody, what a busy night. Unfortunately, they are still counting the votes, but my good friend over there, Derek, who's also my campaign manager, for those of you who voted for the one on Kevin Phillips. My name is Kevin Phillips, I'm running in this election. I try to screw it up, sorry everybody. I get dust all over sure anyways too. Anyways, what a crazy night. Um, we're trying to speed this up because we're worried we're gonna lose our time for the time that we rented the convention hall. So we were hoping that the candidates who are not, or who don't have a chance of winning, I already announced that they are not going to be the mayor, Vernon Supreme and Michael uh, Anderson. Michael Anderson, unfortunately, was removed from the facility because he is a <laughs> So if Vernon could come up and do his campaign speech, that would be great. Yep. Okay, so I have appro approval from Vernon and approval from Johnny D. Everyone, please welcome the third place candidate for this Springfield election, the one, the only, Vernon Supreme. Hello everybody. I'm not very good at speeches, so I prepared some notes. If you don't know me, my name is Vernon Supreme and I was a candidate for the recent Springfield election. I was the last person to enter the election I was a very small candidate throughout the entire thing. But I led through clear standpoints and small senses. I am very happy and proud of what my campaign manager did throughout this whole ordeal. And I think that everybody should be giving him a round of applause. Everybody please appreciate my candidate, Daniel Jeffries. Unfortunately, I will not be serving as town as mayor. However, in a recent turn of events, with a freak accident causing the death of our MPP, I will be serving this town as your member of provincial parliament. I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. I thought we were going into business together. Sorry, bud. Gotta go. Oh my god, here they come with the vote box. That vote box will really change our lives. I know. And if we win, I would love for you to be my deputy mayor. I would be honored. Thank you so much. Are you guys having a moment? Well, you know what? I just wanted to say that whoever wins this campaign, it's been one hell of a ride. I give a bad respect to you. Hello, everybody. It has been a long election, but right here we have the letter of our new mayor. Could I have Phil and Kevin on the stage, please? And the winner is Bicycle Phil. Yeah! We did it! Oh, no, no, there's been a mistake. Kevin won by eight. Yeah! Everybody, it's been such a long election. 
almost long enough that you can make a 10 episode series on YouTube about it. Thanks to all of you who voted for Kevin Phillips. I have spent so long. I can't believe that I'm actually mayor. Thanks to Derek, who was my campaign manager. I couldn't have done this without you. I couldn't have done this without you who voted Kevin for mayor. So thank you so much. I will improve this town better than it ever was under Alan Duffy. So thank you guys for voting Kevin for mayor. We'll see you next election. Hey there, bud.